फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट देन इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी द परमिट सिस्टम फॉर एंट्री इन टू एंड एग्जिट फ्रॉम मणिपुर विच वॉज देन रेकग्नाइज बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट वॉज एबोलिस्ड बाय दी देन चीफ कमिश्नर ऑफ मणिपुर वट आर ट्रेजडी फ्रॉम दैट टाइम ऑनवर्ड्स देर वर ह्यूज इन्फ्लक्स ऑफ आउटसाइडर्स इन टू द स्टेट ऑफ मणिपुर रिजल्टिंग देयर बाय अ कैप्टिव इकोनमी ऑफ द स्टेट एंड बिग इम्पैक्ट ऑन इट्स डेमोग्राफी दिस एम एम ए नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन वॉज नेवर रेटिफाइड बाय द पार्लियामेंट ऑफ इंडिया इट विल बी इंटरेस्टिंग टू रिमेंबर दैट एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम देयर वर ओनली थ्री स्टेट्स विज असाम मणिपुर एंड त्रिपुरा इन दैट पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री had manipur and tripura were allowed to join the union of india as full fledged states at the time of their merger with the union of india the history of north east india would have been completely different and many a problem these two tiny states face now might have not appeared at all what a tricky situation and shall we blame the lady luck during this time an autonomous district of naga hills of assam was conferred statehood in 1963 this was perhaps the fruit of naga rebellion by the naga insurgents under the leadership of mr faizo maybe thinking that insurgency pays a new generation of insurgency movements in these two states of manipur and tripura started in the late 60s this is now the history then in 1972 after a long struggle for statehood both manipur and tripura were given statehood but it was too late even then the government of india could have restored all that these two states did have before they got merged with the union of india but unfortunately that did not happen the demand driven attitude rather policy of the government of india does more harm than good this attitude has to be changed completely to bring these border states at par with the rest of the country this can happen only if the principle of cooperative federalism is practiced in its true meaning and understanding if the citizenship amendment bill is passed in its present form once again there will arise a huge demographic challenge in the north east in general and manipur in particular so the people of manipur now start talking of demanding the pre merger status of manipur and asked while nation state hence i strongly urge upon the union government to immediately withdraw the citizenship amendment bill 2016 in the best interest of all concerned another important issue is the law and order situation in that part of the country the law and order situation there is still a matter of grave concern in my state the armed forces special powers act 1958 has been being promulgated since 80s and here army is engaged in counter insurgency operations under the act this act provides immunity to the army from being tried without the prior permission of the union government under this act the state of manipur had seen many orphans widows parents who do not know where abouts of their missing children 
रेप्स फेक एनकाउंटर्स कस्टोडियन किलिंग्स आर रेम्पेंट इन स्पाइट ऑफ द रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ वेरियस कमेटीज कॉन्फ्रेंसिस यू एन बॉडीज टू रिपील द एक्ट द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज स्टिल शाई टू रिपील दिस ड्रैकोनियन लो हावेवर द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ मणिपुर हैज लिफ्टिड ए एफ एस पी ए फ्रॉम द सेवन असेंबली कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसीज अंडर इम्फाल म्युनिसिपैलिटी आई एम ऑलवेज फॉर द इमीडिएट रिपील ऑफ दिस आपस्पा टाइम हैज कम फॉर दिस ड्रैकोनियन एक्ट टू गो आई डू वेरी सिंसियरली अर्ज अपॉन द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट प्लीज रिपील दिस एक्ट इमीडिएटली फॉर द सेक ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी लास्टली बींग इन द बॉर्डर स्टेट I do sincerely wish that our relations with neighboring countries like Bhutan, Bangladesh, Maldives, Nepal and Sri Lanka would continue to grow from strength to strength and particularly relations with Myanmar through our look east policy now act east policy should be able to catalyze and improve finally the claims made by his government are on the contrary and the commitments made are in the vacuum however in the best established tradition of parliamentary democracy i do support the motion jai hind it gives me immense pleasure to express my views on the motion of thanks for the president's address 2019 I wish to remember and pay my respect to our inspirational leader Purachi Thalaiwai Amma before I speak. I am glad that our honorable president has mentioned the efforts taken by the government to build an inclusive society based on ethics and principles. Our nation is moving ahead guided by the ideals of social and economic justice. as enshrined in the constitution by baba sahib dr bhim rao ambedkar i wish to mention the efforts of our mercurial leaders purachi thalaiwa m g ramachandran and purachi thalaiwa amma in saving the social and economic justice in tamil nadu i wish the government would respect and honor the untiring efforts of purachi thalaiwa amma and confer up on her the highest civilian award bharat ratna immediately the honorable president has emphasized for an inclusive and modern development of our country it needs to be ensured that not a single family is deprived of fundamental needs lack of toilets had forced crores of indians especially our daughters and daughters in law to lead an undignified and unhealthy life under the swachh bharat abhiyan more than 9 crore toilets have been constructed out of which more than half crore toilets were constructed in tamil nadu tamil nadu has excelled well in implementing the swachh bharat scheme the honorable president has lauded the efforts of the government which has provided more than 6 crore cooking gas connections under the ujwala yojana this has to be extended to the remotest corner of the country so that no women in the country should suffer due to lack of cooking gas connection The honorable president praised the government for launching the Ayushman Bharat Yojana last year under the world's biggest health care scheme Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Abhiyan 50 crore poor are eligible for availing treatment up to rupees 5 lakh per year per family in case of a serious illness in a short period of 4 months more than 10 lakh poor have already availed free treatment from hospitals under this scheme 
this scheme has been successfully implemented in Tamil Nadu under the Chief Minister's Health Insurance Scheme implemented by the Government of Tamil Nadu working in the lines of Purachi Thalaiva Amma. The endeavour of government has also been on reducing the burden of out-of-pocket expenses on medical care for the poor and the middle class under Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Oshadi Pariyojana, 4,900 Jan Oshadi centers have already been opened in more than 600 districts. More than 700 different medicines are being dispensed at low cost in these centers. Stop.